Hello, what's up? You want to give your heart and life to God and Jesus? Call CBN at 1-800-775-9413. Tell them you would like to say the sinner's prayer. Now, they'll say it along with you. Sorry, quick, my hair was stuck on there. Um, It says, Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and I invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you. As my Lord and Savior, in Jesus' name, amen. That's a Bill Graham prayer. It's at findmyhope.org, or you can call CBN. Again, when you tendered, 775-9413, www.cbn.com. Pray about it and read your Bible. So I also wanted to share with you why I do these videos, too. Um, I don't know. I was kind of irritated that I was seeing so many weird things <laughs> on YouTube. You'd always see more evil or more magic or more just weird things on YouTube than we do on anywhere else and we're on Facebook and so I was like oh my gosh there's so much you know evil's trying to take over so it's just awesome to do these videos um when you do these videos yourself and you share Jesus with your friends your family YouTube anybody else uh, I don't know how or why but he he provides for you so We've been provided for, um, even when you do these on Facebook, which I was hesitant even to do these on Facebook, upload these simple videos. Uh, but once I started doing them, like more, I don't know, it's just provisions were provided <laughs> when we needed them and when, I don't know, and then putting these even on our doorposts. Uh, so right outside our door, as soon as you come in, this is one of the first things that you see is on our door. Um, even having that, um, I don't know, he just provides for you when you stand up and believe in him and share him. Um, so it's not you that saves, you can't take um, credit for that. But God, God takes care of you. I don't know how. I mean, you know, he provides everything, basically. He's the creator of everything. Um, and when we first started doing that, even though these people that I thought would... Um, when I first started telling people about Jesus, um, so there's my friends and family that talk about Jesus too, but... They were so like off-putting about me telling them about my dream. They were extremely offended by it. They were like, you can't see Jesus. You can't do this and you can't do that. I was like, wow, that's, <laughs> that's not the metal. That's the enemy. You keep going. You know, the people act like that. Um, and so that's what I did. I kept going. Um, but God took those strongholds or those things down well he's taken most of them down um but people still think it's kind of crazy that i do these um even those bad magpies the bad ravens they get scared they get intimidated uh so i was watching again here on youtube if you type in jesus returning dreams like when i first came to know father god and jesus like i was obsessed I was like, I needed to find answers and meanings to my dreams. And if anybody else out there was having these dreams and visions. According to Joel 2 verse 2, he'll pour out his spirit in the last days and his sons and his daughters shall pro prophesy about his soon return. So you know Jesus is returning. Um, you know their signs that we're living in the last days. Um, he said it would be like in the days of Noah and the days of Noah, you can read about that there in their heart was evil continually. Um, so there's, there was like a lot of lust and perversion like there is today. Like, I don't know that many people that um, you know, in their early adulthood start going they don't honor marriage anymore. They don't um, they seek after lust and perversion as a source of love when they should be seeking Father God and Jesus and then maybe telling people, you know, I sh I'm going to wait until I'm married um, to do that because 
I really believe in Father God and Jesus. Um, sorry, <laughs> I moved these men back by his battery with the cruise enter into um, his presence, his holy, awesome, beautiful presence, and it's pretty amazing. Fill yourself up with Father God and Jesus so I can feel the Holy Spirit, especially going back towards my village. Um, so this guy that we were, when we first came to know Father God and Jesus, he came to the village, and you could tell it wasn't just him that was speaking, it was the Holy Spirit through him that was speaking that was pretty amazing. Um, and these words that he was speaking, Psalm 23, uh, were they like stuck. They stuck with you because it was just so filled with love and peace and joy. And he was like, you know, um, sorry, I can't really think of Psalm 23, but you got to read it yourself. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want to. It's like, oh, that's provision and this is this and... You're just going on and you could just tell it was the Holy Spirit hitting him and speaking out. It was pretty amazing. And we can't wait for him to go. Um, I don't know why those little weird things uh, start acting up, trying to be scary. <laughs> I got so got used to it though. I thought, just yell out it, get out in Jesus' name. And I do, you sound like a crazy person. You kind of look like a crazy person too, they'll say. But it's okay, we keep going anyway, because um, maybe some people don't see that. I start feeling like almost like um, a bit, I don't know, somehow. We could just feel his holy presence, so it's just his love, his peace, just be thankful for things. Um, so I was just watching the Jewish, Jewish Jesus. Uh, I think his name was. I don't know if it's Perry Stone or if it's the other guy that um, does Jewish Jesus. And he's just pretty awesome sermons to listen to if you're hungry and want to follow fa Father God and Jesus. Just follow your Bible. Look at these things. I really swear. <laughs> it's almost like schizophrenia or um, bipolarism. I don't know. Or, or it's just the enemy attacking. To, the, to me is kind of weird. Um and some of it's witchcraft because, again, there's these people back home and they're just, I don't know why they're attacking. It doesn't make any sense why they're attacking. But the enemy attacks so hard, but even though, <laughs> you know, keep going, even though they attack really hard and try to accuse you of anything and everything. These people I thought would follow Father God and Jesus too, they were like, you're a Jezebel and you're this, you're that, but you could, they weren't speaking it, but you could hear their thoughts and everything. So when you have the Holy Spirit and Father God and Jesus, sometimes you just, but I wasn't going to say anything, you know, you could just hear it. And I was like, they're not talking, but you could hear them and you could, you could feel that among people. Sometimes it's only um, certain people that I feel that with really strong, like to me, their sin feels like dirt. But I won't say anything because God says you need to love them even though whatever. And he'll change their hearts, not you, amen. So that's pretty amazing. You just keep speaking life over them like they're going to be your friends. They're going to be, uh, Jesus is going to save them like he saved me, you know. I didn't know Jesus could walk up to you and save you in a dream. Um, so it was somebody sharing Jesus on Facebook. Uh, I would click on it and read it. Um... And I would be saved, amen. Um, well, it would take a month later and then I would have that Jesus returning dream because I was encouraged to get this chain fixed for my cross. Um, I don't know what these little demons try to do. They, it feels like rape and lust and perversion. But I don't know if it's from my ex-husband or from this guy that I was trying to go out with um, and trying to seek their love sometimes I think it's just you know the lust and perversion <laughs> or for an occasion because he's cast me into the it looked like I didn't know a lake of fire could be on fire like the lake of fire 
like was an actual place uh, that you could be swimming in or something. I don't know. To me, it was super weird. I didn't even think about that. But it's in Revelation 21, verse 8. All these people that tell cast into the lake of fire. And one of those other times I was screaming, what the heck? You know, why am I in here? <laughs> but I had kind of known that I'd committed the sin of uh, maybe fornication and lust. And so there's these things from Jezebel that try to come on. She sounds like, um, to me in the spiritual realm, it's a helicopter beetle or something. And the cheetah, she looks like a beetle. She looks like that weird thing from Jabba the Hutt or something, like a worm. With some kind of weird thing on doing witchcraft and it's like by a candle and <laughs> it just looks super gross in the spiritual realm but he said you know he'll fight he'll fight for you um so he's taught me how to smite up her witchcraft if it tries to come near um if it tries to go on you even this other person that tried to do witchcraft he can see and hear into the witchcraft because that's what he used to always do but I don't know if God will change his heart or not. He's pretty, to me, sneaky. Like he even likes to go to church. Um, so you'll find one of the most um, prevalent person to attend church is Because <laughs> he'll go there to try to scourge and cause chaos. And I don't know, he just works in so many different ways. It's very good. So I was just... Waking up, I'll start doing my errand. Um, but go after Father God and Jesus. Seek him while you can, even if the enemy keeps attacking you. Um, again, it's like this lust or perversion, this witchcraft, these bad magpies, these bad ravens, and these crows. Um, I don't know where they come from. It feels like mostly witchcraft. Even on here on YouTube, these people that watch the YouTube videos, it's really prevalent that you'll find these um, people. So Hell is Divine is really good testimony, um, too, about these people. They, they were in hell and they were screaming. Um, and she saw one of the witches and they were changing. I seen that um, so in my October 11th, 2019 video before the COVID hit, um, you could just feel God reading up there. These people or these holy angels, I don't know, they were just reading Joel 2 verse 2 8. They were reading other things. Um, and these people that were committing witchcraft against me and all these other people so they don't commit witchcraft against you either they do it against father god and jesus they crucified him at the cross um again one of these testimonies is pretty amazing she saw her sins nailing god to the cross nailing jesus to the cross so our sins our hurt our witchcraft our evil speaking our evil thoughts um our anger our hurt our perversion nailed, nailed him to the cross. Um, and he came in the flesh like you and I are flesh. Um, and nobody is perfect. But pray for those people. Pray for the people that do witchcraft or do evil against you um, constantly. Because God sees you. God sees them. Um, he said he'll smite them up and destroy them. You keep going, read Proverbs, read, read Psalms. Um, and then he says, perversion is an abomination to him. These are not my words. These are words from the Bible that you can read in Scripture. Um, and tell people, you know, stay away from smoking weed and drinking. It's really hard to do, but you can tell people they have to start doing this if they want to turn to father god and jesus and once they say that prayer they should feel those addictions just fall off if they mean it with their whole heart that prayer it's called the sinner's prayer it's really healing if you need healing also our lord's prayer is really healing if you need healing um saying that over and over again sometimes when you're under attack it just 
he fights for you because he is the word and word is with God and the word is God. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, so I've tried to tell people about uh, deliverances too from witchcraft uh, and told them, hey, this guy is really awesome. Um, and this witch has tried to come into my room when she was screaming and it looked like her hair was standing up and it looked really creepy and you know, just, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Slide it up and got cheese to wreck out. <laughs> these holy angels, these holy angels too, they look like they arrest them and they cast them into the pits of hell or something. Even these people that were doing witchcraft, they were still. They knew what they were doing was evil, but uh, I, I, in, in, the, in this dream, in this vision, October 11, 2019 vision, I was crying for those that were going to hell. Because um, they could have accepted Jesus, they could have stopped the, doing this evil, this witchcraft, this. And they could have accepted Jesus with us and got to the right. Even though it's really hard to do right now, you know this is true. Um, so already this is going on a long time. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.